Good morning, movers. We are here with a very special episode. We have Chris Elliott here. We're at Second Swing in Columbia, Maryland, getting ready to start our day. And both Chris and I, we have a little bit of an issue that we're going to take care of with some stretching today. Chris, if you wouldn't mind sharing with everybody what we're working on today. Yeah, so occasionally um, I wake up with some back pain. Um, I was born with scoliosis, so, you know, 10 to 15 years of swinging a golf club kind of wore it down a little bit. So, yeah, just after 18 holes, it feels a lot of soreness. Sure. Um, yeah, so I'm just looking for, like, some, some ways to help me with that. Perfect. And you have a big trip coming up. And go yeah. in and a couple hours down the road? Yeah, definitely. Uh, sitting that long uh, definitely hurts after a while. <laughs> Perfect. So this is probably something that a lot of you can relate to. Back pain, uh, if you travel a lot in the car, either on holiday or commuting for work, especially playing golf, uh, especially if we have scoliosis, so we have a curvature of the spine. And so what we're going to do today is work on stretching and opening the hips. Because when we can open the hips up, it takes a lot of stress off of the back. So our hip flexors are these muscles that run from basically our lower or our upper leg, the, the thigh area. They go through our pelvis and connect to our lower back. So if we sit a long time or our hips are tight, then that tension pulls on our lower back. So we're going to learn how to open this up and take some tension off. Sound good? Yeah. Cool. This is the only piece of equipment you need is a towel. Okay, this is just my caddy towel off of my golf bag. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to fold it hot dog style. And then we're going to go hamburger and then hamburger. And this is just a pad for our knees. Now, we don't need it, but I'm going to give you a wedge. Because we need, we don't need it, but something sturdy to help us balance is going to be not necessarily a bad thing. So we're going to start by taking our towel and we're going to put it on the floor near a wall or near a couch or something like that. And the closer the towel is to the wall, the harder this is going to be. So we're going to start maybe about a foot away from the wall here. We're going to sit our club on the ground. We'll come back to it in a second. And what we're going to do is get on our hands and knees away from the wall, right knee on the towel, and right leg up on the wall. And then, to the best of our ability, we're going to take this left leg and bring it out in front. And right now, we're just hanging out here. Now, as we hang out here, we're going to focus on this right hip. And so that's where we want to be feeling the stretches in the front of this right hip. Yep. Now, the more you squeeze your butt, the more you're going to feel that hip stretch. You feel that firing up? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So what we're doing here is turning that hip off by squeezing your butt. So we squeeze and hold that for like five seconds and then relax. When you relax, you can now get a little deeper into the stretch, either by trying to take your pocket and push it down to the floor or by trying to get your chest more upright. And we can do a combination of both. But once you're in that new position, now squeeze your butt as hard as you can. Big breath in. Exhale. Relax the butt. And now we get into a deeper position. We go a little bit deeper or the back a little bit more vertical. And that's where the club comes in is eventually we just, we just hang on to something. So I like to kind of just, I go grip down, hand on the head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is exactly why we want the club here. Now, I usually go for a wedge or a short iron because I don't want to break one of my longer clubs. Uh, you can use a broomstick. You can use whatever you want. If you're at home, you can hang on to a chair, whatever it is. But we're just going on and off, on and off of this squeezing and relaxing. So let's go a little bit taller, relax. Isolate that stretch. This looks really good. Now, squeeze your butt nice and tight. Big breath. Very important that we breathe when doing these stretches, because if we don't, if we hold our breath, it's no different than that sensation we get when a tiger was chasing us hundreds of years ago. Our body's in this fight or flight. It doesn't feel safe, so everything locks up. Now, if we breathe, it tricks our body into saying, OK, we are safe. We're relaxed. We can ease. And now all of a sudden, this hip is opening. And what's really important, I want you to keep going here, Chris. I'm going to grab the camera for a second, because what I want everybody to see is how even though your back is getting more vertical, it's not arching. Okay, And this is really important here, because we don't want the stretch to be because the back is arching. We want the stretch to be that the hip is opening up. And that's where the butt is squeezing. That's really good position right there. Now you're able to get your back nice and vertical. We're, we've been going about two minutes here on this leg, so we're going to switch up and do the other one in a minute. But over time, 
we're going to work on getting Chris's knee closer to the wall. And this is something where we just inch our way over the span of days or weeks. So I don't want you to just jump straight into getting that knee as close as possible. It takes a little bit of time to get there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of, I'll call it dismount. So I want you to take your chest and bring it down. And now you can get your leg out of that position. Otherwise, if you try to take your leg down while your back's up, it's not going to be a comfortable one. So let's switch it up. Knee down on the left side. We're going to go right leg out. And then we get that hip down and or the chest open. Squeeze the butt. Big breath. Now this time, just so I don't ramble too long, I'm going to actually start a stopwatch. So we're going to go two minutes per leg here. And usually just five minutes a day makes such a big difference. Now if we want to make this a little bit more intensive of a stretch, we're going to take our chest and turn it towards your front leg. And if we want to go even farther above and beyond, we're going to go right hand on the club and left hand up and over. And now it stretches all the stuff down the side of our body, mostly down here in the hip. But we just hang out and we breathe. And then after about 10, 15 seconds, relax the butt, open that hip up or get the chest more vertical and then re-squeeze. And we just go on and off for two minutes and we are just over a minute in. Now I like to think about four seconds inhale, hold for four seconds, four second exhale, and then hold for four seconds. And if you do that eight times, that's your two minutes. And that's the easiest way to get through it because sometimes this can be uncomfortable, but if we're just focusing on breathing eight times, then all of a sudden that time passes very quickly. So we have about two breaths left. Let's breathe in. And out. One more breath in. And out. And now we can bring the chest down. We can get the leg off of the wall. We can stand up. And this is usually when we find a big change. All of a sudden, the hips just whoosh, tuck right underneath. Yeah. So I'm curious. You look like you just woke up from a nap. What are you feeling right uh, now? Oh, there's not much tightness in my... I just, I just want to relax. Honestly, cool. it feels really good. Awesome. I feel nice and open. and Usually, I feel some pain when I twist. And uh, I don't feel any pain right now at all. So that feels really good awesome that's a big win and so that was what took five minutes yeah and that's something that even when you're on your vacation you're yeah. in a hotel room or an airbnb you're at home whatever it is my favorite time to do it is when i'm watching tv and then i'm multitasking so rather than sitting getting tight i'm going to watch something and also get loose awesome chris i appreciate you. your time yeah. everybody if you have any questions drop them down in the comments below move better play better